All right, so for this fight, um, the Cyclones that you're going to want to be ran ramping for, they are 1 minute and 17 seconds apart, so not exactly your Evangelism. So we're going to see some tech here to kind of deal with this. Um, I was the one duplicating the mark on this fight, which means that at the start I positioned myself near the ad that I needed to dunk into, and I had a couple of marks around me so that I could just jump in like this. If I was the one that got the mark on me, I would jump into 4 just to make the pull more consistent. Alright, and so my ramp here for the Cyclone starts when the timer is on 10, so I'm going to start now. Pull for my inner vein. And we're soon going to see the tech that I apply here. It's not really tech, but whatever. I, um, I'm going to Shadow Fiend and then Evangelism after the first Radiance instead of the second one. This is probably ever so slightly less HPS, but it's probably a gain over the course of the fight, because you're going to get it back up for the second and third ramp for Cyclones. So what happens here is that you want to immediately get another uh, Harsh Discipline stack, because you want to cycle your Schism off cooldown for the dunks that are going to be happening in a second here. As a Disc Priest especially, there's so much Tornado nonsense on this fight, it's hard to play around. Um, I would say... Give yourself some pulls to kind of figure that out. It's very important as well for the pull-in. Because you cannot have a cyclone between you and the boss. Alright, so for these blowbacks, I always tried to make sure that I landed with a harsh discipline penance. This allowed me to get a ramp here, where ideally I cycled a schism as well. But I ended up not doing it here, and I don't think I do it on the next one either. But it's um, a place to use Schism. You will get it back up for the ramp later. We've got a lot of tornadoes around our dunk area. But we're gonna ramp soon, and you see, we want to have... Um, one person dunking into green next. Um, but I positioned myself around purple, so that I could dunk it immediately when I got it, instead of being the one that dunked it during the cyclone on green. Watch my positioning here. I want to not have a tornado between me and the boss, and I achieve that. And then I slide in with Light's Wrath and finish off the ramp. Alright. <clears throat> and so, at this point you should already be planning your next mark ramp. And you want, want to kind of play it by um, either the timer or your own schism. The damage comes out very consistently, so... I hit a very late ramp here, but it did some healing. We're about to get a blowback, so I am trying to make sure that I have a Harsh Discipline stack here coming up. I have to hold DPS here, so I'm just kind of playing it cautiously. Getting locked. And I'm doing the exact same thing here with the panels that I just generated. Don't block people. Obviously not my fault there, I kind of landed in the area. That's okay, just move out. Could have cycled a schism, I didn't. As I said, this is a mistake, you can do better. Um, so my next ramp, this one, I combined the Rapture and Evangelism again, but I believe that this is where you desync them again, completely. So you just, I should have already started my ramp here, but I'm late out, and you'll see the way this impacts the ramp. I blocked somebody there. I'm trying to find the free space between the boss and me with the tornado tornadoes, as you can see. But that doesn't really matter much if you're this late with ramp. Anyway, uh, you do get the Vandalism here, it's just a bit late, but that's okay. Um, as you can see, kind of playing super retroactively there, just not really getting a lot of stuff done. Um, lots of improvements on that ramp. So you can do better, um, don't combine ramp earlier. Uh, 11 seconds on Cyclone for that one, I'd say. Here we had Schism. And we had people dunking stacks. We should have just been ramping. Not sure why I didn't. I think it's just mana. Which doesn't really make sense as I have Innervate. That's okay. Um, Ad is dying. It's dying early here. But I still want to have that Harsh Discipline stack when I land. And I do. I think I might have delayed this ramp a bit because of the nature of how this happened. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. Alright, so for this next ramp, you don't have uh, Evangelism for no matter how you play it. Um, what you can do is hold Evangelism for the last one and then get it here, but I don't really think that's necessary. I think you play it how you want. 
really matter too much. Um, you can still bang really hard without evangelism, enough to make people survive. This was really bad. I don't get a big ramp here because of the Marcus you saw, so I didn't really follow my own advice there. That's okay. Still got something of a ramp. A bit late. But it did the job. I should not be in melee when marks go out. Okay, I moved out. Uh, tank death. So, I do. I just used Innervate. I have Mana Pot. I could probably play a bit more aggressively here. Uh, I think I, I do desync my Rapture and Vangelis now, though. Yeah. So that's my Rapture, and I use my Mana Pot with it. Powered Shield is more expensive than the single target atoms in your Evangelism ramp, so it's actually, in my opinion, more useful to rip it on a Rapture ramp. Um, Ad is dying. I don't do what I should have done here. I don't have, an, have a Harsh Discipline stack. Um, but I Raptured kind of late into this phase, so I have a responsibility over a lot of people. I kind of kept them alive, so it's fine. I feel like I don't need the ramp here. Um, in my head, this probably... Uh, running the next plan or for um, uh, pull-in ramps and I'm probably watching and planning and I don't want a tornado between me and the boss I got a mark again which is very unfortunate these marks are so cursed uh, you can't really do much if it's at this po uh, point of the fight so here I just kind of let it safe I had shadow or death at this point as well which kind of is you yeah you crank hard with that <clears throat> and then I dunk. I think at that point it's just better to wait it out than dunk in the middle of it. We obviously do not dunk to get the um, add and go to a platform now. We're just kind of cranking the boss and having um, people go up exclusively, or rather people have already gone up to exclusively interrupt the um, adds upstairs to reduce the stacks on the boss. At this point, I'm kind of just optimizing for damage, um, not really thinking about much else. I go into Rapture uh, with a Shadow Fiend running, kind of just to spot heal people. Um, don't really have a lot of mana, so I kind of just... Try to play it safe. That's okay. Um, so yeah, lots of stuff for me to improve on on this boss, but um, I felt like... Um, I kind of had an idea of how I wanted to execute the fight, and you can probably find your own way, but this is a reference. Um, here's uh, an argument made by a lot of uh, Disc Priests that are probably better than me that say that you can desync um, your evangelisms by just holding. So, for example, you can just use Rapture on the second pull-in um, and then evangelism the third one. But I feel like that's you're probably going to get less evangelism cast over the course of the fight than if you do the tech with the uh, early evangelism after first radiance. So do with that what you will, um, and good luck on the fight.